amazing. Well, why has this ever happened before? Well, it has, and as recently as the early 90s when Elton Sawyer and Patty Moise raced against each other in the what was then the Bush Grand National Series. And I, and I have to say, you know, Patty was an accomplished road racer, but she wasn't as competitive or with a team that was as well funded as Elton Sawyer. It was just, it was just such a non-story back then. Guys, what do you think of Stenica? I don't care. To be frank with you, as honest as I can be, I talk to drivers, crew chiefs, crew members in the garage. The garage does not care. It's their business. They went public. We were at you. We were down at Daytona. We saw them walk in a restaurant. No one tweeted it. Bob, we talked earlier off camera. Most of the garage has known this for quite some time. Yeah, we've known for four or five months, honestly. But, uh, you know, a lot of people just didn't talk about it. And I think that's because it's, it's of the personal nature. And I think until it becomes an issue right. on the racetrack, it doesn't matter. Let them have their personal life, sort things out the way they want to, but it's really not for us to judge. Uh, yeah, and to, and to be clear, Matt and I were not on a date. No, 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 we, 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 I did tweet that. Yeah. <laughs> we were with the group, Daniel. We were with the group. We were, we, with, the group. we were with the group. They might have been on date night. It is Seneca. But there is one positive, I think impact to that. I don't know if you guys agree, but the Rookie of the Year battle has become, yes. I, I mean, nobody has cared about it for quite some right. time. They're both racing for Rookie of the Year. Absolutely. And, you know, any time you can bring some, uh, you know, charisma to a that sport. What it is? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I think it's drama. Well, there you go. Either way you want it to call it. But I, I think it, it draws some attraction to this. And I think that's good for NASCAR, but not necessarily good for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. or Danica Patrick. I think in terms of the relationship aspect, I think any time that you work with somebody you date, it's hard enough to separate work from personal relationships. You add in the level of competition, and now the weight of the world. All the eyes are watching. How do you think two young racers that are new to full-time cup racing can handle all of these Look, I, the I think they're both professionals. Obviously, Ricky is a past champion. Danica has done her open-wheel stuff. She's done her NASCAR duty right now. My biggest issue, I don't think the relationship's wrong, personally. I just think it's kind of at the wrong time. They have rookie of the year, their biggest years in their career, in my opinion, this this season. Not going to change a thing. They're both going to do their right. things on the racetrack. Ricky's going to be good. Danica's going to struggle and continue to learn. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate Danica, it. All, that, yeah. all around.